Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So this is part two of the benefits of magnesium series. Magnesium being a compound much underrated in the longevity field. Uh, that's enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and look at the reasons why you should be monitoring your magnesium intake. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in the human body. It plays several important roles in the health of your body and of your brain. However, you may not be getting enough of it, even if you eat a healthy diet. Here are five evidence-based health benefits of magnesium, and there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to make this presentation. Migraine headaches are painful and debilitating. Nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light and noise often occur. Some researchers believe that people who suffer from migraines are more likely than others to be magnesium deficient. A few encouraging studies suggest that magnesium can prevent and even help to treat migraines. In one study, supplementing with one gram of magnesium provided relief from an acute migraine attack more quickly and more effectively than a common medication. Additionally, magnesium rich foods may also help reduce migraine symptoms. Insulin resistance is one of the leading causes of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. It's characterized by an impaired ability of muscle and liver cells to properly absorb sugar from your bloodstream. Magnesium plays a critical role in this progress and many people with metabolic syndrome are magnesium deficient. In addition, the high levels of insulin that accompany insulin resistance lead to the loss of magnesium through urine, further reducing your body's level. Fortunately, increasing magnesium can help this. One study found that supplementing with this mineral reduced insulin resistance and blood sugar levels, even in people with normal blood sugar levels. Premenstrual syndrome or PMS, is a very common disorder among women of childbearing age. Its symptoms include water retention, abdominal cramps, tiredness, and in some cases, irritability. Interestingly, magnesium has been shown to improve mood, reduce water retention, and other symptoms in women who suffer from PMS. Magnesium is absolutely essential for good health. The recommended daily intake is 400 to 420 milligrams per day for men and 310 to 320 milligrams per day for women. You can get it from both foods and from dietary supplements. If you have a medical condition, check with your doctor before taking any type of magnesium supplement. Though these are generally well tolerated, they may not be safe for people who take certain diuretics, heart medications, and or antibiotics. Supplement forms that are absorbed well include magnesium citrate, glycinate, orate, and carbonate. The following foods are good to excellent sources of magnesium. Now I'm not gonna go through each one of these in turn. Feel free to pause the video and check out the percentage of the recommended daily intake of magnesium. For those who are interested, I take 250 milligrams of magnesium a day, along with 5,000 international units of vitamin D3 and 120 micrograms of vitamin K2. 60 capsules of that from donotage.org normally cost $18. If you apply the MyNMN 10% discount code, then you can then purchase that for $16.20. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, there's been quite a few subscribers joined the channel since part one of this uh, video series. So I'd like to know how many of you actively monitor your magnesium intake and how many of you believe that you take in the right amount of magnesium, i.e. your levels are correct, because of the food you eat. Uh, also, I'd like to hear from people who take a, a multivitamin supplement. I believe that because they take that multivitamin, their magnesium intake for the day is covered. 
Uh, if you are part of the third group, I'd like you to look on the supplement facts of the multivitamin bottle and look how small the RDA, the recommended daily intake is for magnesium that you get from that tablet. Um, so I've done similar videos to this now for vitamin D, vitamin K, uh, vitamin K2, and I've also done um, two magnesium uh, videos. I've got a few more in the pipeline. I'd like to hear from you. Are there any other vitamins or minerals or longevity type supplements that you'd like me to research and possibly do a very similar benefits of or hazards of taking video? Um, I like doing the research, so I'd look forward to your suggestions in the comments below. Well, that's it for today. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. As always, please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.